Welcome to Public Art Studio featuring artist John Biggers. Today we are going to investigate Biggers' mural, Salt Marsh, located at University of Houston downtown. This mural represents the birthplace of Houston as a self-sustaining force and the artist's dual concerns with African culture and children as a foundation for the future. On this mural, the artist is quoted as saying, through the rebirth of our children's understanding of themselves as a part of nature, the bayou will once again be a great life-sustaining force. As our children discover self-awareness, we also find a mirror image for all of us. They are our salvation and our hope for tomorrow. As in many of Bigger's works, we see references to the iconic Houston Row House here in the center of the painting. The zigzag represents the pitch roofs of row homes. These small, sturdy homes, along with Bigger's hope for the future of our beloved bayou, inspires our project today. We will be creating a Bigger's-inspired bayou village using a familiar pantry item, used milk cartons, or juice boxes. We will be creating our own row home or bayou building using the humble food carton as the base for our creations. Let's get started. Here's your list of materials. Craft paper, craft glue, pencil, scissors, ruler, empty milk carton, juice box, or similar item from your kitchen, foam brushes, and decorating tools of choice. For this demonstration, I used craft paint. Step one, measure the height of your box. Use that measurement to cut your craft paper to the right length so you can use it to wrap your carton. Step two, decorate your craft paper. The orange and blue paint in Bigger Salt Marsh inspired my choices for this piece. Remember to have fun and play with your decorating tools. You never know what shapes or patterns can emerge when you're just playing around with your decorating materials. So be brave. Think about the shapes and forms you see in Salt Marsh. What will inspire you and what kind of building will you create? Step three, squeeze your craft glue onto the surface of your box. Then use a foam brush to smooth out the glue for better coverage. Step four, glue craft paper onto your box. One piece of paper may not cover the whole box, so be sure you have enough decorated paper to glue onto your surface. Step five, use your decorating tools or more craft paper to add designs or make your piece look more like a building or house. I cut blue rectangles for windows and green bushes to attach at the base of my apartment building. Then for the top of my building, I use blue paper for a rooftop pool, a bit of green felt for grass, a button to roof up my water tower, Small strips of folded paper for lounge chairs and a wooden flower bead is my idea of a fun pool floaty. Here is my John Biggers inspired Bayou Village carton creation, along with a few other examples. A colorful flower shop, a more traditional house with finely cut green paper grass and a tissue placed in the spout of my carton to look like chimney smoke, and a spa retreat inspired by the painted lines in Salt Marsh. Whether you are at home with a few family members or friends, or at school in a big classroom, combine your creations together to create a Biggers-inspired Bayou Village. Thanks for joining me today on Public Art Studio, and we will see you next time.